looking at this uh, sequence of numbers, um, from negative 2 to negative 6, it, we subtract 4. And that's the same thing from negative 6 to negative 10. So we can see the pattern of subtracting 4 each time uh, will work here. That means the next one will be negative 14, and the next will be negative 18. Now a pattern of subtracting is the same thing as adding a negative. So this is still an arithmetic sequence. And the recursive equation, f of n, is we take the previous one, f of n minus 1, and we subtract 4 each time. Subtract 4. And f of 1 is negative 2, our, our starting value. And for our explicit equation, we see that uh, with an arithmetic sequence, we know that we can get any term by taking the first value, negative 2, and we're going to be subtracting 4 a certain number of times. So minus 4 times something. Well, um, if, if x here is uh, 2, then uh, we only make one jump. If it's 3, we make two jumps and so on. So it's one less than that value over there. Um, so we'll call that n minus 1. Note that I used n here where it used x over here. And I could have just as easily used x. I could have written this as f of x equals negative 2 minus 4 times x minus 1. And that's, that's fine as well. Um, and then if you'd like to take that minus 4 and distribute it, you can do that as well. The, the negative 4 times the x is negative 4x, and negative 4 times negative 1 is plus 4. And then we can combine that with a negative 2. So we end up with a negative 4x, and then positive 4 minus 2 is positive 2. Um, so either any of these would be, would be acceptable for the explicit equation.